What is going on people, Shadow Man Drives here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're taking off them crappy, crap, crappy, crap, crap, crap stock polar tail lights and installing the new VLAN ones. And yeah, other than that guys, hope you lot have been enjoying the content. Other than that guys, hope you lot have been enjoying the content. And yeah, um, I think this is my fourth video now, so make sure you check out the other three. I've shown off my new car, I've showed how to install indicators and I've also shown you lot how I got my dual exhaust done. But yeah, um, this is a quick video to show you guys how to change your tail lights and how much of a difference the VLAN ones make to your Polo if you actually have one. But yeah, other than that, I hope you enjoy the video and let's change these tail lights. So boys, for today's video, we're gonna be changing these crusty old stock Polo tail lights with some brand new ones. Anyways, let's head inside and let me show you these new tail lights. So guys, if you look here, we have the VLAN tail lights. Retail them is $239.99, but obviously if you use my discount code, SOCH15, you will get a little discount. I think it's up to 10%, it's on the screen, so yeah, you uh, go check it out for yourself. But yeah, I am liking the look of these. I can see that they've got like a nice little tint on it. I think it's probably been sprayed. I'm not sure how it all works, all that stuff. But yeah, um, no, I like it. I can see they've got a the nice sequential bit there, reverse light, fog light. Um, this is probably where the brakes gonna be and stuff. They are quite similar to the Q3 lights as well. Um, but yeah, no, I do like the look of these. Um, I will definitely recommend them. They look 10 times better than the um, stock ones on the Polo that you usually get. But yeah, you know what? <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to installing these because um, they pretty much seem quite easy to install because literally there's one little white at the back and then I think the screw probably goes in there if you look closer at the hole. But yeah, um, I think these are really cool. But yeah, um, make sure you definitely use that discount code because um, VLAN have sponsored this video and given me the code for you guys so yeah make sure you use it it's social 15 and yeah if you have any problems just give me a shout on instagram and yeah let's install these tail lights you actually just compare this tail light to this one like look how crusty that one looks it looks terrible whereas the new vlan one we have you can see that we've got the sequential bit there everything's just it's like basic LEDs and stuff it just looks much much better and literally they're so easy to install it's just plug and play but yeah, anyways, let's get into installing these new tail lights. First thing we have to do is obviously open the boot. Once you've opened the boot, what you're gonna do is head over to this bit over here. If I just pull this bit back, you can see there's lots and lots of wires, and this is the bit we're gonna be playing around with today. Make sure um, you've got no liquids around you because obviously we don't wanna be getting electrical bits wet. But yeah, that is the first step to installing these tail lights. Guys, once you've opened the boot, and pull back this lever what you want to do is just pull out this bit it literally just comes out nice and easy and if you look here there's a white screw this screw we literally have to unscrew and literally that is what brings out the tail light so once you do that the screw should come out there we go just like that the tail light literally should just pop out Simple as that lads. Look to the toilet, obviously something is connected. I'll zoom in there a little bit for you guys. I don't know if you guys can see that, but something is connected. So what we're gonna wanna do, we're gonna need to unclip this so we can actually take this out. Now let's unclip it. So what you need to do now is unclip this bit here. Literally, this bit was clipped onto that bit there. It will literally just pop out. Once you've popped out, that's pretty much it. And then, yeah, now we just need to install the new ones. Finally got rid of them crappy stock polo tail lights. Now, in with the bad boys. I know this is gonna make a huge, huge difference to my car. And obviously when I go to meet some stuff, it'll just look 10 times better. Because even the headlights at the moment are looking disgusting. I can't wait to change them as well. But I actually picked these up on Facebook for 100 quid. So big up Steve for busting me this still. 100 quid for these, bruv. And the retail on them is like, I think 239. But if you use the discount code, obviously you can get a bit of a discount. But yeah. I can't wait to see all these bad boys. And you know what? Pictures as well, my Instagram look 10 times better. But yeah, just by looking at them, grab these guys. These are crazy. And if you actually head over to Facebook Marketplace, there's a couple people sending them. So check on there as well. If not, just buy a brand new pair and just use a discount code. But yeah, let's install these now. What is going on, guys? So these next couple steps may be a little bit complicated. But if you just follow my steps, it will literally be done in 30 seconds. So as you can see here, this bit was connected to the other tail lights. So what you're gonna do with these is get this piece here and just clip it in. Should go, oh my bad, other way. Should go straight in like that. And 
we're only going to be needing this bit. This bit is going to be connected into the Newtile light. So it's a bit weird, but we're only going to be using this bit. So on to the next step. What I'd recommend you doing now is putting all the wires in now. And the bit we're obviously using, just peg through the hole. So we can actually connect this onto the Newtile light. Once you've done that carefully, get this clip. And if you look here, it literally just goes from that to that. You literally hit a clip in, in like that. And then once you've done that, just pull this wire back through and just fit this in nice and easy. So guys, once you've put the toilet back in, you need to go back and get a white screw. And literally there's a hole here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. There's a hole right there. You literally just pierce it through. Obviously there's a hole there. And literally just screw and it will get tighter. Once you screw it back in, literally all this stuff here will just fall into place. Oh, like that. And there we go. That is your toll lights complete. Just by looking at that, that makes a big difference, man. That is looking banging. And then if we take a look at the other side, look at that crusty old crap. Oh, that is disgusting, man. Anyway, scrap that. Let's see how these VLAN lights function. So guys, these are the lights off. I like the way it just sits. It's got like a nice little smoked effect. I think it's been like sprayed obviously, but I just like the way it's, um, it sits. It looks really nice. Obviously, I'm not really into tints too much. Obviously, I'm just into window tints, but I personally wouldn't tint my headlights or tail lights. Maybe a light tint, but yeah, I'm not really into that tint and stuff, but I like the way these sit. They sit really nice. I like the way you've got the one, two, three, four, six lights. I'm presuming they're the brake lights. But yeah, um, it looks really cool. And yeah, let's actually check out the other lights. So these are the lights on the daytime running lights. I like the way it's actually these two. Do you know what? These look similar to the Audi Q3 lights. It's actually a one-to-one -one replica of it. But yeah, um, I like the way it just sits. I think these are better on than off, personally. But no, I really, really like these, man. Definitely, definitely a cop. But yeah, um, yeah, the daytime running lights are really cool. I don't think you call them daytime running lights, but I'm gonna call it that because in the daytime, this is how it's gonna look. So, this is how it looks when I break. Um, you know what? I'm not actually a big fan of uh, six dots when they're on. I think they could have done something different, <clears throat> but it does look much better than uh, the other stock tail lights. But yeah, I'm not a massive fan of the dots. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But yeah, um, let's check out the, uh, I think, fog light. The fog light should be there. Do you know what? I think the fog light looks sick. Especially imagine like it's raining and I'm cruising on the M25. That'll probably look mint. Do you know what? On the camera, I think it comes up as like dots, but it's actually just a strip. It looks really, really cool, man. Big, big fan of the fog light, man. But you know what? The main bit about these tail lights are is the flipping indicator. I was about to swear then, but I can't anymore because kids watch my videos and I'm not going to influence that. So my next video is Anyways, on to the indicator, guys. Do you see why I made this video? Just take a look. Just take a look at that. That is just, that's amazing. Just compare that to the old tail light. It's just crazy. This indicator thing is just crazy. Only thing I would say, it seems a little bit slow, but other than that, I think it's amazing. Remember guys, use the code social15, 10% off at VLAN. Anyway guys and girls, so I know you only saw me install one side, so literally follow the same steps on the other side and yeah, that will be your tail lights installed. how they look wait why does that look so weird i think it's just the camera angle yep that is both of them fitted on and yeah there we go lads that is your tail lights fitted guys that is a video complete and yeah um i'll definitely buy these polo tail lights highly recommended from vlan make sure you use the code social 15 once again and yeah i do have a big video coming out soon here's a little snippet
yeah, that video will be out on Monday. Sorry about the delay on this video. Um, we did have a slight, slight problem with the SD card breaking. But yeah, make sure you go grab these uh, VLAN tail lights. They are a bargain. And yeah, 239 take away 10%. I'm not sure how much it is, but yeah, do the, do the calculations. But yeah, hope you lot enjoyed the video. It was Chinaman Drives here. See you in the next one.